Hello friends, welcome to your virtual instructor. So today we are going to talk about Azure Private DNS Zone. What is Azure Private DNS Zone? So this is a domain name resolution service which can be used in a virtual network. You can use your own custom domain name to connect or reach out to VMs instead of the Azure Private Names or the IP address. You can link different virtual networks with the Azure Private DNS Zone to use this feature and to resolve the DNS name. Also, there is something called auto registration enabled in Azure Private DNS Zone. So if you will enable it for a virtual network, so whenever a new machine will be added, then the uh, DNS record will be created for it. And whenever it will be deleted or stopped, then the record will be removed from the private DNS Zone. So private DNS zone is supported for DNS resolution between virtual networks across Azure region. So you can create a private zone in different region and you can connect virtual networks from different region. You don't need to explicitly peer the virtual networks to perform the DNS name resolution. You can use a single private DNS zone and create multiple virtual networks to it. We'll see that limit in the future slide. What is the limit of the virtual network which you can associate with the private DNS zone? We'll see in the future slide. Also, you can link a virtual network that belongs to a different subscription, provided you should be having the right permission in the virtual networks and also in the private DNS zone. When you start a virtual machine within a linked virtual network with auto registration enabled, DNS records are automatically created for that virtual machine. And when you will stop it, then the DNS records will be removed automatically, provided the auto registration should be enabled. So these are the DNS zone limit. So you can create private DNS zone per subscription uh, that is 1000. Records at per, per DNS zone is 25,000. And virtual network links per private DNS zone, that means number of virtual networks you can connect to the DNS zone is 1000. If you want to increase that limit, you can always talk to Azure support and request them to increase this limit. So this is the lab architecture we are going to follow. We are going to deploy one Azure private DNS zone and also we are going to deploy one virtual network. Then we are going to link this virtual network with the DNS zone, with the auto registration enabled. Then we will be creating two virtual machine, VM01 and VM02. And then we will see if their records are created and we are able to ping those machines from each other by using the DNS name or not. So let's jump into our lab today. So here I'm in my Azure console. First we'll create the private DNS zone. So resource group I will be creating a new one. And we'll hit on review plus create. So the creation will take a minute or so. In the meantime, we'll be creating the virtual network. Side of range, I will be keeping the same. And same goes with the subnet side of range. Let's head on view plus create. In the meantime, let's go back to our private DNS zone. So our DNS zone has been created. So we can see that only one state of the authority record has created till now because we have not linked any virtual network to it. So from the left hand side menu, go to the virtual network links and click on add. Select the virtual network. Select the virtual network. So our virtual network is already created. And also check the box enable auto registration. Our VNet01 link has been created. Now let's go to the home and create two virtual machine. 
inside this virtual network. I am keeping this RDB port 3389 enable so that we can do the RDP to this machine using the public IP. I will go with the standard SSG. Network I will be choosing the VNet01. And let's on hit on review plus create. In the meantime, let's go and create, let's create a second machine. Vnet uh, zero one and the subnet will be default as per the previous configuration and let's hit on create now both the virtual machines have been created so let's go back to private DNS zone and you can see record of both the machines have been created vm01 and vm02 so if you will click on any of these so you can see the dns name of this which is associated with the our private dns zone so let's do a rdp to both of the machines so if i go to the virtual machine and click on connect Let me log into the second machine. Now we are logged into both the machine. So communication between all the ports is already open between a virtual network. So we don't have to allow any communication from the NSG room, but for the ping to take place, we have to allow it from the operating system level. So if I go to Windows PowerShell and copy this command to allow the ICMP rule for IP version 4. So this command I will be putting in the description. Let me allow in the second virtual machine as well. So this is VM01. So let me ping VM02 machine from here. And if I copy the record of VM02 and let's do a ping here. So I am able to ping the VM02. Now if I will go back to VM02. Let me ping VM01 from here. So again go back to our DNS records. And ping VM01 dot yv dot contest dot com from here from here also we are able to ping the machine so this is how azure private dns resolution service works 
in the future lecture we are going to see more things on the azure networking part like uh, azure private link azure side to side connection point to side connection etc et and also of course the public dns as well and many other things like load balancer options whatever the azure provides we will be seeing all of those in the future lecture so i hope to see you in the future lectures as well and please do provide your feedback about this lecture so thank you for joining and have a nice day thank you